It's you... International Skeptics Day. I tend to be pretty skeptical of most things. That I say. Not just that you say. Is there a way that we can do this better? Oh, it's always been done this way? Okay, so is that does that really mean that we're supposed to keep doing it this way? I don't necessarily think so. If something can't be done, I'm like, okay, really? That might be true, but why? I want proof. And I think that probably has a little bit to do with the fact that I was homeschooled. Most of the time in relation to computer and technology type stuff, I mean, for the most part, I just trust him on stuff because he has done a lot more research on that kind of thing and I don't want to have to understand it, quite frankly. I mean, I understand more than your random average person, but I don't understand enough to go and make <clears throat> purchasing decisions. And I don't want to spend the time researching that I feel like needs to be spent. But I tend to question some of the stuff that he brings to me because I don't want to spend the money. Are you sure that we have to do it like this? Is there not a more simple, less expensive way to do it? And I will give her that. She makes it so that I have to actually think a lot more because generally with computer stuff, we need XYZ, which costs XYZ money. I'm, I would be like, oh yeah, let's just get it. She would be more like, okay, is there any way to get around it? Or is there any way to do it without having to spend all this money? Is there any way to get along without it? In that sense, it's good that you're a skeptic. If he can, if he can prove to me that he's done <laughs> the proper amount of research um, and kind of explain it to me in layman's terms, then I will agree to spending the money. Too many people in business buy a bunch of crap that they don't really need and then end up with a bunch of crap that they don't really use. Not to mention just someone said that this is what we're supposed to get so uh, I guess we're just going to get and, it. And nobody knows how to use it. That's the best one. You know, mm -hmm. you have this big old piece of machinery or whatever or, you know, and nobody... Overkill yeah. much. <laughs> the main place that I'm not skeptical, generally speaking, is in giving people the benefit of the doubt about the way that they act or their motives or whatever. I tend to be probably a little bit erring on the side of naive in that respect only because I don't want people judging me and I know that there's no way to know the whole situation but I do <laughs> I do tend to not give him the benefit of the doubt as much which is not fair. <laughs> I admit that. I, I do admit that. I admit when I am wrong. The funny thing is I'm almost opposite of her in regards to that. It's really easy for me to say, oh, A plus B, well, they wanted to do C. You see things whatever. a little bit more black and white, I guess. I think I, I do, yeah. For myself, the way that I tend to look at people that seem like they would have a lot of things to judge about them, I tend to look at it like, how close am I to being? that person like how easily could I be that person and I feel like I could easily be it's only by the grace of God that I'm not but it's, I think it's okay to be skeptical I think this the society needs a lot more skeptical people the news mm -hmm. the news the news and the internet the generally speaking really there's so much stuff people just take hook line and sinker it's because people believe what they want to believe what they want to be true. Like, I sometimes look things up. I think this is true. I'm gonna look up and see if I can find evidence to prove what I think. And because of the internet, pretty much you can do that. Pretty much with any viewpoint. It's not really proving it, but it's finding stuff to back up what you believe. You can kind of prove it to yourself, at least. Winston Churchill. I am an optimist. It does not seem too much use being anything else. Go and be a skeptic if you want but temper it with some optimism or something. And happiness. <laughs> oh, mm. Today according to day two. Yo, what's that to do with anything? Chick, 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 chick. I wish I could play it the accordion. It doesn't sound like an accordion at all. Yes, it does. Stop being so skeptical of my accordion sounds. That's not the correct usage of the sure. term. <laughs> the only way that a brown recluse could actually do that to your leg is if you basically get bitten by the spider and then go and get raw sewage and smear it on your uh, spider bite and have it get infected and gangrenous and who knows what. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. You wouldn't go and look up whether it was true or not. And I feel like now you would. Well, now you have the internet 
at your fingertips. That's true. It's not that easy to look something up in an encyclopedia. Yeah. Thank um, God for the internet. Yeah.